Good morning, friends. It's Allie, and today I am getting myself a little cup of this tea that I made for my illness. Ugh. It woke up all my senses. I get my water. Yeah, my prayer Bible and journal. I always love to start the day with prayer Bible and journal, but especially when I have a special request, I love to light this candle and have a prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Dinner is ready. We don't get a break around here. Mommies don't. They have to keep going. Can you hear it? I think the chicken is singing. Oh dear Lord, let's drain this from all the soil. So now that it's drained, I'm going to put it inside the rice. This is what I normally do instead of wasting another container because you're going to eat it soon. Look, that's unfortunate. They're green. You can't see it here, but we didn't cook them. So another thing I like to do is wear a mask when I'm sick because I want to make sure I don't transfer any germs. So when I cook, I wear a mask. I pretty much wear it all day but especially during cooking. And today I was making a quick little chicken soup. Not the usual, not like I usually make it like the amount, but just enough for my son and I. And um, actually ended up working out for all of us because in the past we make like a big pot and it stays there for like days and days. And nobody wants it after like the second day. So today I decided to make less and it was just perfect. So it's raining today, friends. And we came to the donut shop. My hubby's going to get some coffee for us. He actually was called in to go in after, like he's on call at work. So he has to go to work. Hopefully just a few hours because I don't feel well enough to be driving all day. So... Hopefully, but if not, you guys know moms have to man the fort, so <laughs> it is what it is. My, um, I do feel a little bit better for my sore throat is actually like pretty much gone, uh, I guess thanks to all those remedies, but as far as, I still feel like uncomfortable in my throat, but not really sore, if that makes sense. My voice is deeper. Here I am, <laughs> my voice is deeper and I'm wearing my mask as well. I always wear it when I'm outdoors, but um, I also wear it when I'm sick. So I feel like my my voice is deeper and I don't know, this uncomfortable feeling. When I drank that remedy in the morning, it's the first time I ever made that. It almost felt like I had a little bit of nausea, but I don't know if it's because I was drinking it cold. I should have warmed it up, but it went away really fast, so. I need to eat something. I just, my husband asked me if I wanted donuts. I'm like, no, don't ask me that. I do not want sugar when I'm sick. It's enough that I'm gonna have sugar in my coffee. So yeah, so that's what's happening today. And I hope this rain stops. I have to take my son to the gym also because my husband was supposed to do all the driving today, but now that I have to take him to work and then come back and pick up my son and take him to the gym, and I don't know what else. Um, I think my other son is off today, but this son that's going to the gym, I will have to take him later to work. So a couple times driving today. At the risk of getting addicted to Mickey D's, I am going to go and get a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel again. I really loved it last time. It was my first time having it. So I'm gonna have it and treat myself since I'm not feeling that great today. I am seriously shocked. That bagel is $7 and change. I was like, what? I don't think I'll be buying that that regularly anymore. And just in case you're wondering, it's 550 calories, a whopping 550. What? <laughs> Definitely cannot get it anymore. My son going to the gym, rain or shine. Now that's what I call dedication. It's 
so rain or shine I have to go do my banking so it is what it is I'm gonna go there and then I want to go to the 99 maybe and see if I can find a hat for my hair so I don't get as wet when I'm going in and out now this is what I call a real spring day <laughs> realistic <music> Have you guys ever seen these little mushroom pens? They're adorable. I would actually use them for decor in a tear tray. Wouldn't they look pretty? And look at these staples and colors. And they had all types of stationery. I love all things stationery to geek out with planning. And so that's what I was perusing. I also was picking up some Kleenex. And these are super soft. And also they are a lot more affordable than the individual square smaller boxes. And look, I have never seen this before, have you guys? It's like a tray, like a laptop tray thing. Maybe I'll get one for my son. I'm going to ask him if he wants one. I was looking for hats and scarves, but unfortunately, I didn't find any. But look what I did find. Oh my goodness, so much. Did you guys know they had all this thread and needles? Why didn't you guys tell me? I could have saved money instead of going to Joanne's. Oh dear Lord. Okay guys, that's still needles. 70 pieces. Oh my goodness, who knew? Well, I didn't, but now I do. Look, seam ripper. All kinds of stuff that my son needed. And we got it so pricey. That's not cool. You guys should have told me. <laughs> what? I'm going to take this one. It looks like it's big enough for what he needs. He has a class in school. It's a costume class. So I don't know. I'm going to ask him what he needs. The tomato pin cushion and pinwheel looks kind of cool. Okay, no more hats. I found one misly hat. I was on the lookout for a couple of things, uh, sweatshirt and sweatpants. How much are these? $25, wowza. That's quite a bit. But they are US polo. They had these, $14.48, but there's not his size. He's also looking at sweats, $11.98. I did find what I was looking for, although a bit pricey, but at least I found it, so that's good. It's hard to find sweatshirts now that it's going to be hot. But in either case, I was here at Walmart, if you didn't know. Um, I really love all their little mugs. Some of them can be very pricey, but some of them were pretty affordable. What I see, only ten dollars for that. That's a great deal. So I just went into Walmart. I just got out of Walmart, and I was so highly disappointed. You know, I tried to ask for accommodations because of my back, and it wasn't even something that was my fault. They actually overcharged me for an item that I was not, I decided to not buy and I gave it to the guy and he still charged it and I didn't realize until after I paid which was my dumb mistake. But what happened was is I went back and I told him, told the guy and he's like oh now you're going to have to go to customer service. I looked at, cus at customer service and there was like probably, I'm back home still sick. But anyway, they were continue the story <laughs> at Walmart. There was probably about seven people and I knew for a fact that I was not going to be able to stand anymore to do that. Even if I were to be sitting down, which by this time they already took my electric chair away. Somebody else got it. So I was pretty upset. So I told her, I tried to tell her that I was feeling pain. I've herniated disc four of them to my back and such. She right away shut me down and she shook her head no and to the other guy too that asked her, the one that messed up. 
she was like no no no, she has to go over there and and i tried to explain to her the situation and she's like no i'm sorry that wouldn't be respectful or fair to others i'm like excuse me do you know the ada guidelines do you know about accommodations and people with disabilities she goes yes i'm very well aware of it and i'm like well what does it say and she's like you know what I'm not gonna get into it I'm like are you the manager let me talk to an actual manager and she's like I am the manager I said well let me talk to another manager I was like upset and she turned around and I said are you gonna call someone and she goes yeah let me see who I can find in the meantime you can let me see if somebody can find you a chair because I even asked can you please have someone find me a chair because I lost the other one somebody else took it and you know she just made me wait unnecessarily for at least 10 minutes and when the store manager came over, he was like, he listened to what I had to say very nicely. And he said, don't worry, just come and sit here on this other chair and I'm going to take care of you. So he went and did the refund for me. So here is the soup. For some reason, it needs more soupy. <laughs> it just needs a few more minutes and it will be ready.